I just want to give you an idea of what the current road temperatures look like. And in most cases, those temperatures are below freezing. Uh, and I'm a little bit concerned about, say, the I-205 bridge, the Fremont Bridge, because the air goes underneath the bridge and over the top of the bridge and it cools it more effectively. Luckily, those more traveled roads are staying pretty wet. That's been the case over the past few mornings. I know Carly's keeping an eye on this, but just wanted to give you an idea that that's what you're facing this morning. Uh, some wet roads that could turn even colder and maybe more icy as the morning progresses. A live look from our ski bowl camera shows lots of snow up there. Currently 23 down the slope at government camp and in some cases up on the mountain. I think we're going to experience colder afternoon temperatures than what we're seeing this morning as that cold air funnels in from the northeast. 19 degrees both at Meadows and Timberline Lodge. As I mentioned, it's 23 at government camp. Be prepared for a packed snow over the Cascade Passes. Uh, a quick look at a 12 hour radar loop across the state of Oregon and southern Washington. That shows that we did deal with overnight spotty snow showers and at the moment the bulk of the snow is focusing in over northeast Oregon, southeast Washington. Washington, especially up into the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Taking a look at Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington, it doesn't look like a lot's on the radar, but these low clouds are producing just enough of that light snow to bring additional glazes to our uh, area roads, and I'm seeing similar conditions up into the foothills of the Cascade. So just keep that in mind as you head out. As far as conditions go for the next 24 hours, we're tracking another system, a ripple in the atmosphere. Uh, this area of low pressure is going to be diving to the southeast. It's going to produce some morning snow tomorrow morning. Today, though, most of the accumulation will occur across central and eastern Oregon up to one to two inches is possible. Then we take it into tomorrow morning. We could pick up anywhere from one to two inches across the metro area and beyond. Probably not going to see snow along the coast. And then we'll transition to more of a wintry mix uh, during the day. But our mountains will continue to pick up snow. By lunchtime on Friday, we could have eight to 12 inches of new snow on the ground. Today, we are starting off with cloudy skies, areas of light snow. But we will dry out with increasing sunshine. But look at that. We go from the mid-20s around sunrise to only about freezing today with a breezy east wind that's going to make it feel like the 20s out there. So this is a cold air mass that's moving in from the Columbia River Gorge. That's going to keep us chilly tonight. That's why we'll start off with snow come Thursday morning. We'll transition to more of a wintry mix during the day with highs in the mid to upper 30s. Could see a few spotty mixed showers Friday, but otherwise New Year's Eve and New Year's Day will be mainly dry with highs in the mid to upper 20s. Our next round of rain will come in late Sunday, transitioning to more of a wintry mix early Monday, and then I think we'll end up seeing more rain come Monday afternoon through Tuesday with highs in the low 40s.